Well, some people are calling for herd immunity to help slow the spread of the coronavirus. The theory is that you let the virus run its course through the population unchecked. Survivors develop antibodies against future infection and supposedly become immune. Ultimately, so many people become immune that person-to-person -person spread becomes unlikely. Well, CNN's chief medical correspondent calls it a terrible strategy. With herd immunity, just to give you some idea, uh, and people know this generally by now, but what does that mean? It would mean that 60 to 70 percent of the population becomes infected. That's a large enough number that they essentially create a herd of protection around other people. Uh, we know that with around 10 percent of the country that's become infected, 216,000 people have died roughly. So just do the math there. What happens if you start to multiply that times six or seven? That's where you're starting to get into the 1.4 uh, to 2 million number of people who would potentially die, and potentially, as Dr. Hazelstein said, every year. Also, we don't know how long the immunity lasts from natural infections. It could be several months, but maybe not an entire season. It's a terrible strategy.